So Chrome is a new release from UJAM uh, with a focus on hyper beats. We've got a set of new kits, a set of new styles, and all kinds of effect chains to mess with. So let's start off here at the top. This is drain pipe. Uh, let's go ahead and just go through the samples real quick. Those are our sounds. If we look at like, for example, the chorus loops here. Yeah. And then I'll occasionally move in like the sweep or the hyperdrive. These are hyperdrive is the effect unique to the Chrome library. I think there's actually a couple others that use the hyperdrive, but it adds uh, basically it sounds like a delay and some extra stuff. It sounds like this. So definitely something fun to automate. Uh, here's a break section over here. Here are a few more of the samples in action. So that's the drain pipe kit, pretty fun. Those are your two kicks. I find that for me, I tend to uh, look for the kicks and, and what they are. And if you want to change out any samples, you can just come down to the little edit icon and choose a kit, a kick from another kit. And you can just, I think you can drag and drop or you can double click and whatever the active one is will allow you to uh, switch with it. So um, let's go ahead and look at the next one. This is Sour Face. Yeah, kind of fun. Um, let's go. Let's go over another set of loops. Something over here. We'll go for final straw. You see them sort of load in, and then we've been having the glitter effect on. Um, let's go ahead and hear that high and low. And let's bring the mix all the way up. Let's go for another one. This is boom bap. Kind of fun. Let's go for another kit. This one's Portal. This is the, I'm assuming Saturn 8 is how you say it. Saturn 8. Saturn 8. Saturate. I think it's Saturate. Let's go for another one. This is Goblin Extreme Loops. And by the way, if you ever want to look through these loops, you can come over to the MIDI viewer and uh, quickly see sort of what's in them and maybe go after one that has specifically what you want. And again, you can just drag and drop or double click. You can even drag and drop just straight to your DAW and work there. Here is the Waterboy kit. Here is the cheeky kit. Let's go for another one. This is Guide Dog. Here's Wasteland. Dolly. Fossil. Sweetie. Leftovers. Let's go for another set. This is High Hop.
drain pipe. So we're back to the beginning. So those are the various kits. Uh, obviously, it's not all the sounds, but you kind of get a vibe for how quickly you can sort of find what you want and some of the effects that are possible here. So why don't we get a small thing going? Let's find, I actually kind of like this one. So let's check out their intro loop. What do they got for that? Sure, why not? We can run with that. So it's as simple as just drag and dropping right onto the channel. It'll pop in. And then we're gonna go ahead and load that up. So that'll be our first loop. But maybe right at the end, we'd like it to use a fill. So I'm gonna go to a new pattern in FL and I'm gonna grab the fill. What's our fill? Eh, that's fine. In fact, you know what? Let's go hunting for a different one, just cause. So here I've clicked the edit. You could also just come to this tab. And for the song structure, let's change it to fill so that we only see the fills. And let's just see the options. Yeah, why not? I like that one. Um, so we will go ahead and just double click it. It will load it in. And you can see now it's loaded into slot two. So we'll come on over and we'll drag and drop that one. I could have drag and dropped from that menu, but uh, oh well. <laughs> so we'll come here, we'll layer this in um, right here at the end. I'm gonna take out the other loop. So it sounds like this at the end now. And then let's go over to a verse. Now the chorus stuff tends to have more going on. The first chorus is less intense and the second chorus is more intense uh, with more stuff going on. Yeah, like <laughs> chaos. So generally this one happens to have like more high-end style elements happening at the time. Uh, we've got some verses. That might be the call. Or we could go straight into just a lot going on. Let's let's maybe go, let's try going straight into a lot going on and see how that treats us. So we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop this on. You could of course make your own. Um, I'm doing this mostly just to show you how easy the song workflow can be. And then you can go in and adjust it according to how your song's coming along. We might repeat that twice and on the second time do a fill and maybe we'll take this second fill as our option so i'll come in here and put that on down grab it put it on in so i'm going to grab some stuff here now from score for a second to layer in an interesting part i'm going to be using the player option for this instead of playing in so they've got a bunch of like different loops and things you can you can pick from. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? Oh, this will be a weird mix of stuff. Uh, but maybe we'll go for something like just choose something going a bit quicker. We'll have this loop. Maybe we'll do a different loop on the second one. And then maybe let's get some subcraft going on here. Let's just go for dark and beefy, that one. I'd vary this up, look at the loops, maybe change something, but I just wanna add one more element, like a string element maybe. Maybe something from the symphonic stuff. Question is in the phrases. I don't know, man, that might not be it. Uh, let's see though, let's get some notes down. I mean, I'm not even sure what these are, what these are playing, can I, can I get a hint? E minor. F major seven, E minor, F major seven. All right, um, we'll go to a new pattern. Go to our strings here. So we got an E minor thing and an F major seven thing. All right, all right. 
Um, well, we'll just have these out for now, I guess, and just sort of see, do this work? It's kind of a lot. Let's try some different ones and maybe we go mostly for highs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this could work. So let's just turn off the low strings because I don't feel like automating that. And um, do we want to mess with the effects? Nah, we'll leave the effects alone. Oh, oh there's a crossfade. Ah, oh, well, I already picked I already picked to do that. Whatever, we'll do this for extra good measure. Um, I would like to make the decay really short. On this uh, this fill here, where's the where are those low notes? This note louder. Maybe not as loud. Maybe like a crescendo on the kicks. And then uh, maybe we take advantage of this distort effect. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, learn MIDI CC, go to browse parameters. I don't know, move, I will use nine. Automate that jazz. And we'll have this come on really suddenly and then come on. Yeah, the distortion's pretty nice. Uh, maybe we're gonna... That is pretty freaking cool. Maybe Glitcher. Mm, I think Distortion did the most for us. It mixes well with when Sub comes in. And then all these elements coming in at once. Maybe we leave these off. Maybe we don't need the strings right away. And then, you know what, let's leave the strings in right here, but let's use one of the effects to bring them in. So we've got some finishers. Um, let's find a good one. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna use this one. So again, learning MIDI CC, browse parameters. Um, oh, this one has the names. So we'll just, we'll just use those. Um, automate, and we'll start out high, and we'll turn this off. And to help sell the effect a little bit more, um, I am going to also add a volume automation to this. I like using this volume knob because it doesn't affect like the faders or the one over here. So I can still use them as level adjustments if I desire. And we'll go ahead and bring this up to 50% right there, and we'll chop it right there so it should stay. Huh, actually, you know what? We might not need as much of a, a volume adjustment as I thought, maybe 0.3 for that spot. Maybe we don't need one. In fact, we might need a boost. Okay, maybe not the maybe that was the wrong call. Maybe we make this like a lot longer. By the time we get to here, it sort of like releases it.
I dig it. Uh, there's a, obviously, I, I want to keep going adding things, but I just wanted to show you how uh, quickly you could sort of get running with uh, Chrome with BeatMaker. Um, friggin' awesome, super inspiring. So here it is from the beginning. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, kind of crazy how easy it is to throw something together and just get some great starting points. And there you have it. So that's Chrome. If you are interested in it, go check it out. There's some links in the description. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.